What's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Aaron Nix, this is the Rest of Our YouTube channel and it's time to discuss WWE NXT in 3 minutes. How do you cover the best wrestling show, frankly, in North America in just 3 minutes? No idea, but we'll give it a go nonetheless. Let's get the counter on the screen and let's get cracking. WWE NXT opens with a crying William Regal preparing to leave the position of General Manager. Say it ain't so, Billy! Karen Cross comes out to gloat, and then we get the return of Samoa fucking Joe. Samoa Joe comes down and says, do you know what? I can't be your general manager. Sorry, William Regal. I can't take the position, but what I can do is make your life easier. And essentially, Samoa Joe slots himself in as the enforcer of NXT and the man who's going to essentially be a fixer for William Regal. And then, of course, he squares up to Karrion Cross, and all you can hear for miles around is me screaming, Take my fucking money! Shut up and take my money! Adam Cole and Carla Riley are backstage, they just can't get enough of each other, these two. William Regal's backstage as well, and he says, Do you know what? Fuck it. Great American Bash, sort your shit out. However, next week you've got to choose opponents because you're going to have one-on-one -on -one matches as warm-ups. Adam Cole accidentally upsets Samoa Joe, who chokes him out. Did I mention something about taking money? Shut up and take my money! Santos Escobar is backstage and he cuts an absolutely killer promo as he always does. He's easily one of the best rising stars in all of wrestling. He says he's coming off the Bronson Reed and the North American Championship. Again, did I mention taking money? Shut up and take my money! Open challenge for Kushida's Cruiserweight title and it's answered by formerly known as Christian Blake, now known as Trey Baxter. Some of you may recognise him from Impact Wrestling. Great match, a little bit botchy in the middle, so can't say that it was the best thing I've ever seen because ultimately I like to hold people accountable. If we're going to hold AEW accountable for their botches, we hold NXT accountable too. Other than that, however, excellent match. Carla Riley comes down and after the match, which of course Kushida wins with the hoverboard lock, uh, Carla Riley says, I'd like to face you next week because I'm a face and I'm a good guy. Hoorah! LA Knight is your new million dollar champion. He's out for his coronation. He essentially goes on this wonderful humble speech, talks about how he's so humble that he's in the ring with his hero. And then he says, now that I've got the belt, I don't need you. And wham! He knocks out Ted DBRZ, the million dollar man. Some people might say he's had that coming for a while. Cameron Grimes makes the save. Obviously, that's going to continue this rivalry. It's fucking money everywhere. It cements LA Knight as an obnoxious prickhead heel, and it fully cements Cameron Grimes as the new top face on the block. Raquel Gonzalez and my bae Dakota Kai. Is there a hotter looking tag team? Mamma mia. Mamma mia! Fantastic. Smooth. The difference maker here is Raquel Gonzalez, who of course with the power is able to overcome the two and give Dakota Kai the opportunity to pick up the win. A couple of backstage segments with Samoa Joe and William Regal just trying to show off the fact that he's this great enforcer. Johnny Gargano comes in and he's like, Joe, Joe, Joe. Joe's like, get the fuck out. And I'm like, oh my God, give me more, more of this. And then all of a sudden Pete Dunn walks in and for the final time how many times do I have to say it take my money Pete Dunn versus Samoa Joe B -b 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 stop my penis can only get so erect fantastic everything you'd expect this main event to be and do you know what I loved about it it was quite old school quite old school European brawling hard hitting very physical love the chops by the way Tommaso Ciampa's conditioning holy Cow, he is in astonishing shape. I look at him and I will always forever be a fat, ugly bastard in comparison. Tommaso Ciampa, you make all of us look terrible, bruv. Amazing match, hard hitting, like I said, brilliant stuff. Only critique, GYV have to take the loss. James Drake, of course, taps out. A little bit gutting because I feel like there's more longevity for the actual tag team winning this and also going on to be number one contenders. However, MSK versus Timothy Thatcher and Tommaso Ciampa... Insert the meme. Shut up and take my money. Nonetheless, a fantastic main event. And once again, NXT proves that it's the best two hours in wrestling in the world, as far as I'm concerned. And with the buzzer, that brings to an end our brief flirtation with NXT. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that jazz. But most importantly, use the hashtag NXT in free on social media and let us know what you thought of NXT itself. Much love from myself, gang. I've been Aaron Nix and I'll catch you very soon for more content from the WrestleBlog.